This is Outdated, and welcome to episode 70 of Let's Play Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice. This one is entitled, Farewell to a Friend. So last episode, we defeated um, a mini-boss, and we have come back here you need. to check on some upgrades. See if the sculptor can help me out. Okay, so Leaping Flame, we could do that. Send throw we could do, and malcontent we can do. Malcontent is an upgrade to the finger whistle. You haven't seen me use the finger whistle very much, but I know that with this upgrade, malcontent, it can come in very handy for at least one major boss fight. Arguably the toughest, uh, from what I've heard, the toughest boss in the game. And I think I'm going to go ahead and buy that one while I can. I'm nowhere near fighting that Listen, boss fight, that but nonetheless. Whistle I've fixed onto your arm. I'm sure it will play a somber but enjoyable tune. Make sure you use it well. I hear you, buddy. I hear you. Okay, so where are we headed now? You know what? Let's go talk to Hambe. We have the mortal blade. We can end his eternal suffering. That sword on your back. What is it? The mortal blade. What? It's real. You don't suppose you could use it to end this curse of mine? No. But no. I see. I can't force you to do it. But please, I beg of you. Think it over, will you? Be here if you change your mind. Man, I love that character. I really love that character. And this temple attracts those with nowhere else to go. Certainly fit that. Down. And I suppose that's what interesting things make their way. To the <laughs> Skipping all this. I've heard this a million times. Okay. <sighs> to keep him around would be selfish. Either personally because I really like the character. Or from a game perspective, because it gives me somebody to train with, to practice with. So, have you decided to end my curse. I yes. Will. Of course. You're my friend. Thank you. A man with your skill could grant a merciful death, couldn't you? Leave it to me. Splendid. I must give my thanks to Sekijo. I will prepare for the beyond. The next time you see me, I'll be ready. Okay, when I return. The question is, do I run around and do something else and then come back? Honestly, just resting resets the world state to the next phase, I think. Let's see, is there anybody in here or anything I can go? Alright, the castle's been invaded. Can I even go in here? Nope, sealed from the other side now. Okay, so I can't go that way. Hombe, man, I'm... I don't... I really love that guy. Sculptor, what's, what's up? Why aren't you talking to me? That's weird. Okay. Let's rest again. Let's travel. Maybe going somewhere and coming back. See, those are all blocked off. Sherman Shrine and Sword took the guy out of it in a dungeon. I should have a reservoir. Hmm. We'll just pop over there. So we're just going to go and then come back. Maybe do a little something in between. And then come back. That way the world state can progress. Resting, I thought, would do it. But I didn't really go talk to Hanbei. But since I couldn't talk to the sculptor, I had my concerns as to if that was going to work. So I tried this instead. Alright, 
here we are. Let's see, what do we want to do from here? Grapple time! Oh, well, he's going to try to sneak up on this guy. I'm going to try to sneak up on him. That'd be embarrassing. Oh, sorry. And you too. You're going to die either way, I guess. And thank you for the gotcha and sugar. Maybe head this way. So I haven't checked that area out. I wonder how it has changed. I also haven't checked out down there to see how it's changed. Let's just sneak this way, see what we can find. Because I know the sculptor's idol is like right over here. And it's still right over here. Thank you. Sneaking back in here. Oh, that was exciting. We can grapple up if we want. Is it these two guys again? Yep. This area doesn't seem to have changed very much. Kill the dog. It's like, hey, what happened? Kill the other dog. Gotcha. Gotcha. Might be better to go this way. Oops, broke the fence. Okay, I already know if this is the same as before. Then we got pot and pan guy over here. So just a reminder. In the earlier parts of the game, after the tutorial, when you come back here and you have the gatehouse key, I think it's the gatehouse key, you want, because I remember I didn't, it, somehow I lost that clip, you want to go in that building right there with that gatehouse key to get the spear. That spear makes the Guardian Ape fight a lot easier for Phase 2, and of course for the other, um, the second Guardian Ape fight for Phase 1 and Phase 2 after you get rid of the Brown Ape. Okay, just looking around, making sure there's nothing here. Grapple across. Whoa, this has been blocked off now. Can I still drop down the hole? I can. Nothing in there. I find it interesting though that they uh, blocked it off. That's cool. Could be just visual storytelling, telling me, you know, dude, don't worry about that. It's not important. You know, that that area is not useful to you anymore. Although it will bring me back into the um, abandoned dungeon, bring me around that way. Everything's all interconnected. In that regard, this is very reminiscent of how Dark Souls was made, or Bloodborne, where a lot of the world was extremely interconnected. Gotcha. And I puppeteered you. So I'm going to let you shoot some folks. I'm going to try to take this guy out while you shoot some folks. Gotcha. All right, don't shoot at the guy I'm trying to kill. All right. Let's see what he does for me. Some of them are just ignoring him completely.
Puppeteer is just fun. I have to admit, it's fun to like take control of some dude and let him cause mischief. And I think he just died. Yeah, he died. I think he took somebody out with him too. That's good. Two for the price of one. Okay, let's stealth back up here. So basically, this is just messing around. There's n nothing up there at the moment to merit going except the XP from killing these guys. Which, you know, I don't have any problems with that. This is where I found the um, prosthetic inside there. Alright, did this guy return? He did. Let's go and take him out. Gotcha, spear, spear dude. Alright. That must be the one he shot. Okay, I'm going to stay right here. So I want to just take down some of these guys for XP purposes. So we're building up to a major boss fight. And we have one more mini boss that I'm aware of that we have to take down. Now that mini boss is literally on the way to that major boss fight. Oh, this is going to be fun. Okay, so I've puppeteered him. Now let's watch the show. He's going after Hammer Guy. <laughs> Hammer versus Bat. There's one other guy in there. They're, oh, man. Good job, buddy. I'll take care of Hammer Guy for you. Now watch out because I can't be hit by friendly fire. Hit, boom! Yeah, come on. Get him again. Get him again. I got him. It's alright, buddy. It's alright. Oh, and you died on your own. Alright. Took him out. Nice job. That was kind of fun to watch. Just checking to make sure I didn't miss any treasure up here, which I probably didn't. Come on the inside. Once you cleared this place out, it seems like you cleared it. And I think I already checked the actual building, like on the outside of the building. I think I checked it, but there's a grapple point. Where is it? Let's take a quick look. I just zip on over here. Hey! Missed that. That might have been worth it. A bundled Jesus statue. Um, I never use these, but I know that they're not bad. I mean, as far as items, I think they give back a, re a res if I've lost it. Or they refill the res or something like that. I just have never used them. Okay. Wow, the view. I'm just saying. Yeah, all that is places you can go, and this is just a small percentage. And we're headed back to the dilapidated temple. We have a promise to keep. I've stalled long enough. I've avoided this long enough. Alright, Hanbei. Remember the time you taught me how to fight? How to deflect? How to dodge. How you taught me how to vault over. Remember when I called you Harambe? Finally die. My shame for not following my master into death. Finally. You're certain of this? Yes. I want you to kill me as you wish. Go on. Do it. Okay, man. Farewell, my friend. Okay. Come on, lock on. Seriously, there we go. You don't need to exist like that anywhere. Anymore. And what did you leave me? A hidden tooth. 
it acts as a bite down so I can use it and just instantly die and sometimes tactically that's a good idea if you can die and then use your res and get a stealth kill instead of actually fighting something I mean it can be very helpful I have to say in this playthrough I haven't used it at all but just checking this box that has yet to have anything in it and it still doesn't have anything in it okay ma'am I fulfilled your wish I'll miss you buddy Farewell, Hombay. May your next life be better than this one. And here we go. Alright, so I picked up here. Same spot. We need to head back to Ashina Castle. Because we need to move forward and get to the next sculptor's idol. We already know just to go up here and hug the wall and wait. And here he comes. Once you get the hang of this, it's pretty... I mean, like, you know what to do. See ya. All right, got him. I just realized some of this equipment I won't be using in here. I do like Sabimaru for this. Alright, now this, the cost on these spirit emblem wise, I need to use one of the ones with three. Malcontent has a very specific purpose. So I want to use a different one. Alright, thanks for the treasure. 34 sen. Now, of course, there'll be this guy over here. I'm just checking to make sure there's nobody else. Alright, let's sneak up and take him out. Gotcha. Take all that in. A couple pellets and some sin. Nice. Okay, we're going to go right up on here. We're using the whistle. And... Okay, let's try this. Lock on. It doesn't stay locked on for long because of the angle. So I have to do it quick. See, now that first upgrade allowed me to target a specific person. Done. That will make this room a lot easier. And thanks for the ceramic shard. Now let's see if I can do it with this guy. Because he's the problem, usually. Oops. Lost lock on. That sucked. She can't see me, apparently. Alright, here he comes. Here he comes. That makes this freak a lot easier. Because these blue robe guys are still uh, pretty tough. Touch. Gotcha. Okay, this may this makes going to this uh oh divine confetti and scrap magnetite. Okay, go ahead and take care of you, old lady. But this makes going through here a lot easier because now I can just sneak right up here and right through here, and there's the sculptor's idol. Just making sure there's nothing new over here I need to worry about. Like, somebody dropped a treasure since I was here last. What are you? Adamantite scrap, yes. And there, remember this is where the Ashina Elite was? This is the most repeated Sculptor's Idol for me so far in the game. Because the Ashina Elite was a devastatingly difficult fight. And then I used the same Sculptor's Idol to go up against Ganeshiro. And we know how that turned out, 26 tries. But now we have another mini boss in here. And it will be our Sculptor's Idol to get past. And then we have another boss, where Ganeshiro was. And I guarantee you it'll be a tough fight. But for now, I'm going to go this way. Alright, how do I want to do this? Like this, I guess. Poisoned him. Oh, yes. Totally destroyed him. Oh, crap. What are you doing down there? 
What are you doing down there? Waiting for me, perhaps? Did they already kill the night jars? Nope, they're the night jars. And it's a fight. So this is something that I like that they never did this with uh, this kind of thing that much with Dark Souls, but all right, he set him on fire. Here, I got you. There's your help there, Nightjar. And now I know you're going to attack me anyway, so I'm just going to go and work on you. There you go. Scrap Magnetite by Compound. Now here's the question. Oh, is that a treasure? A new treasure placed over here? Could it be? Could it be? No, it's a candle. Reflected on that. And that's lame. Okay. So right above this was where Ishin had been. Lord Ishin. Hug wall. That is not a secret passage. I wonder if they're still safe. Yes, they are. And Emma. It never fails. Lord Ishin disappears the moment I take my eyes off of him. He's quite a handful. I don't have any gourd seeds. Goodbye. Okay, let's talk to Lord Ishin. <laughs> Is that a look of concern on your face? Uh, Emma's always telling this old bastard to stay here. So that's why I'm here. Let's give him a drink. Um, I've given him sake before. But not Ashin Asake. I gave him one refund. Not sake. Smart thinking, my boy. Let me see. <sighs> That's some good sake. This is how we drank when we won our battles. The people of Ashin. Together as one. Could you tell me about the rebellion? <laughs> oh. The rebellion. We just took back what was stolen from us. That's before this land. It's a place where we, the Ashina people, lived, where the waters flowed straight from the source. We were a people who loved our country dearly. And we made good sake to boot, but we were heretics, and we were weak. Naturally, we were overrun. Trampled into submission for many long, excruciating years. We couldn't even pray at the water from the springs. <laughs> the way we were then. Even good sake couldn't get us truly drunk. But then the world fell into chaos. Yes. Amidst the chaos that was Japan. The endless casualties. The flames of war. We found the perfect opportunity to take back our land. But now, it's a place of death. I'm thinking that too. <laughs> it's a bitter thing indeed. Nice dialogue. Okay. We're leaving, Sekiro. Another time then. Alright. Oh, treasure. Pellet. Yeah, I saw some pellets. Wait a minute. I don't remember this. I don't think this was here before. Oh, what are you? Prayer bead? Prayer bead? Black scroll. In addition to the red mortal blade, there exists one that is black in color. The blade's name is Open Gate, and is said to hold the power to open a gate. And then, I, of course, I skipped out of it. But... There is another mortal blade. If that isn't a hint for either something to come or possibly DLC. Or a sequel or something. But there's a black mortal blade. I have, of course, the red one. Alright, I think I need to head back. Oh, eavesdrop. Yes, 
Okay, so it sounds like Genishiro has the Black Mortal Blade, and that he will probably make another appearance. Yay! Because God knows that fight was, you know, easy peasy. Not counting the 26 attempts, of course. Alright, just stealthing up here. I don't really want to mess with these guys too much. I don't know how close I am to a skill point. Hmm. Or do I? Because if I take down the blue guy, these other two will be pretty easy. Let's just do it. Nope, sorry, not you either, and not you either. Alright. Thanks for all the junk. Hmm. Can I lock onto him? Ooh, can I finger whistle him? I can. Come on over. You move like a ninja, sir. Oh, I messed up the death blow. Crap. Not what I wanted. I did not want to deal with this dude like this. God, oh, I'm in trouble. Getting some deflects, though. Uh, don't, no, you don't. Oh, no. Whoa, God, deflected that. Ooh. His posture bar's pretty high. And now he's done. Oh. That was a fight I did not want to have. Okay. So we're going to head back up here. And set up for next episode. And in the next episode, we're going to face the mini boss inside that room. And we're going to get past him. And see someone we thought was long dead. So I'd like to thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. This has been Outdated, and I will see you next time. Peace. Out.